If you play Hong Kong Mahjong and want to practice making decisions on how to proceed with your drawn hand, try random pulls. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to build your skills, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's get to the random pulls. I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed. We're going to shoot for a three fawn minimum so we can practice playing at Mahjong time. They do have tables where there's a zero point minimum, but I want to play at eight point minimum tables. So I am going to train myself to look for three fawn in my drawn hand. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each one to the round. Let's see where we're seated. Just to keep the variables fresh, I rolled it 10. 10 is south. So we're going to say that we're in south seat. I'll just put up a two to mark that seat. So we're south seat, it's east round. Since we're non-dealer, I am going to take 13 tiles. Let's see what we can do here. We have a two flower, that's our seat flower. So we need to come up with two fawn in order to qualify. Let's get our replacements. We have a significant number of dots. Two pair, the pair are in dots. So I'm thinking if we play a half flush, that would get us to a three fawn minimum. We would have to start by throwing these. We do have a lot of terminals though. Here's a pair, not a one dot, pair of nine dot, and a red, and then we have one bam, one crack. We could maybe play all terminals and honors. Get rid of these first. Let's see, all terminals and honors. All terminals, four pungs plus a pair of ones and nines is 10 fawn. Pung, pung, we'd need to pair these up. That's a possibility though. I'd keep it in mind. If you would do something different, write it in the comment section. Random pull one and what you would do differently. So let's play for south round. And we're gonna say we're in seat 12, which is north. We have a two flower. Let's get a replacement. Red dragon. Here's a green, a north. We have an equal number of dots and cracks. I would start by discarding the one bam and the three bam. Whichever one I start drawing first, I would go for that suit. If I start drawing dots, I'd get rid of the cracks. If I start drawing cracks, I'd get rid of the dots. We do have chow potential in both suits. You'd think, well, why not go for all chow? All chow is one fawn. We wouldn't be able to win with a three fawn minimum. A half flush would be the simplest way to get there, but we have six discards. This could be a defense hand. Play defense, try not to throw the winning tile and hope for a better start for the next hand. Let me know if you would do something different here. Got to meet that three fawn minimum. Let's go for West Round. We are going to be seat nine, which is east. We are seat one, we have a three flower. 
another rough start here. We do have two pair though in bands. I think I would try for a half flush with bams and the dragon there and then hope to pair up and maybe go for all pung. All pung is three fawn, so that would work, but we only have two pairs, so we would have to draw pairs and then pung. Pung like the wind. This is a rough start. All these mixed suits with a three fawn minimum, that is a difficult road to walk. Okay, let's do north round, north round. Let's see what seat we're in. I rolled a nine, nine is east. We get 14 tiles. Oh, look. We have our seed flower. That's nice. Let's get a replacement. A three bam. We have a couple dragons, an east and a west. Singles. That's not too helpful, but we do have five cracks here. I think I would try for a half flush. Hold the three bams for as long as possible. If we pair up, we could go for all pung and leverage these threes. Otherwise, if we draw in cracks and chow potential or pair up these honors, I'd sacrifice the threes, but I would get rid of these first. Go for half flesh. Gotta get to that three fawn minimum. This is where the picking and discarding phase of the game come in to play. You just have to make really good choices along the way. Keep your eye on exposures and discards. This is one reason why I like to play solitaire to practice the pick and discard phase of the game. Look for videos that say Hong Kong Mahjong Solitaire. If you have a set at home, give these exercises a try. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on opportunities to learn a new strategy or pick up on an inside of the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next random polls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.